My father was a writer, and uh, writing uh, was my only dream when I was a kid. And uh, I had writing in our house. I was an only child, and uh, I was very attached to my father. So writing was in the air in our house. And uh, But you see, you cannot make your living uh, in Egypt through fiction writing. It is impossible. Many writers are professional writers, and they have absolutely the right to live from writing. Copyrights uh, is a very, very important uh, thing in Egypt, uh, and we have been suffering. Uh, it's very important for everybody all over the world, but we have been suffering in Egypt from a terrible dictatorship. So the story was the following. You write, you don't have copyrights, your works are stolen, you cannot make your living from writing. That was part of my problem in Egypt uh, during the 90s, uh, because I had to get published through the government and for political reasons uh, and for, for corruption reasons as well. Uh, I was refused to be published three times and it, it was every time I was refused, I had very good reviews. but. I was a known writer without readers, you see, because people couldn't find my work, uh, my book. And I finished this novel, and this novel was called The Jacobian Building. So uh, I gave it to a... Uh, it was a phenomena, you see, from the very uh, first week. It was a phenomena, it was sold everywhere, and it, it changed my life, this success. Uh, Oh, it is really uh, very interesting because I was fighting, I was fighting to get uh, published by the government to get a kind of uh, publication of 3,000 copies and I would have been very happy if that happened. But now I am celebrating one million copies of my, uh, of my work, uh, you, you see. The publisher is your window. I mean, if you don't have a publisher, it means that all what you write uh, is not going to be uh, transmitted uh, to the readers. And uh, publishing is very important. Uh, my works have been translated to 34 languages. It means that you just have to write. And you don't worry about any other thing. He, he's going to take care. Writing is a very, very uh, difficult uh, profession. There is no formula to, to write, there is no one single formula to write fiction. I mean, every fiction writer should uh, discover his own way. It is very hard to learn how really, to, how to write, how to have your style. Writing is like a princess in a castle, and you must really prove your love. You must prove your love. And then in the end, she's going to open the door. I wake up very early. I wake up 6 a.m. Uh, six days a week. Uh, and I write from 6.30. 6.30, I am always on my desk uh, to write. I began with uh, having files for every character. This is the most important thing. I, I, I make files for every character, and in, in the file I put details about the character. Details which could be uh, very uh, little details, uh, like if she is a lady, how does she look, uh, how is she dressed, uh, does she smoke or doesn't smoke, uh, what kind of cigarettes counts. You see, why? Because I do that uh, to uh, I try to, to initiate life in the character, in, in my imagination. At some point, I will feel that these characters are no more imaginary. They do exist. And then I begin writing, and then at some point, which is really a uh, very mysterious thing, but this is exactly what, uh, what happens, is that at some point I lose control of my characters. My characters become independent. And instead of writing what they should do, I 
try to follow them. Now they decide for themselves. And on the screen of my imagination, I follow them and I, I write what I see, what they are doing. And this gives a, an unbelievable pleasure. The most important thing to inspire a writer is to uh, keep uh, yourself uh, honest and, uh, and clean. You see, uh, Chi Guevara said once, uh, honor means uh, that you say always what you think and you do always what you say. And I believe that this is very, very good because we are inspired to write because there is in a kind of clean screen invisible in our heart. And this is very important in literature. It's a, uh, great literature means that uh, we don't judge people, we try to understand them, you see. And if you do that in literature, really, uh, we become much better human beings.